In a short space of time, the electric mountain bike has in many ways liberated mountain biking, allowing people of all ages and abilities to go on adventures, to ride more trails, to tackle crazy climbs, and also just to live a little. But when it comes to speed and power, there is only one bike, and that is the e-moto. We have arrived down at a crossroads where the e-moto crosses, collides even with the e-mountain bike. Now that is a very different bike. And surely there's no way that this beauty can live with that route. Or is there? So here we are in Croatia and we're super happy to have been invited by Grape, which is the sister company of that crazy fast supercar brand, Rimac, to ride their mountain bikes. Now, my focus is primarily gonna be on the G6, whereas Chris, well, he's gonna be riding a bike which seems to be used by rich footballers to commute to work. And what an epic location it is, Steve. I mean, it looks primed to argue, arm wrestle, drink rakia, eat sone rosetto on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> or lie on the beach and do absolutely nothing. Clearly you've not ordered much Surini risotto then, Chris. Uh, <laughs> however, what we have here is e-motorbike versus e-mountain bike. And what we're going to be doing is a route around these beautiful limestone cliffs to determine what is the best e-motorbike or e-mountain bike. Gear leg of the old G12, let's get out of here. <laughs> E-motos are a very different brute to the e-mountain bike. They are throttle assisted, often more than double the weight of a standard e-mountain bike. They come with pedals, which kind of make it look like a bike. They're awesome fun with loads of power, all at the simple push of a button. Top speeds of 70 to 100 kilometers an hour plus are all attainable. They can be made street legal and some even have regenerative braking. Oh, and they can do things that mm, might end you up in trouble. An EE mountain bike is a sophisticated beast with a 250 watt motor that assists you only when you pedal. They have different assist modes from eco to boost mode, weighing in around 20 to 25 kilos with a battery that can also be easily removed. They are restricted to 25 kilometers an hour or 32 kilometers per hour, depending on which country you live in. Above that restriction is down to human power alone. They definitely pack a powerful punch, but in a more conventional package. Right, you mentioned arm wrestling earlier. Yeah. I am guessing that your first arm wrestle challenge is going to be head to head, right? For sure, yeah. I'm thinking a sprint drag race down the seafront. Mm -hmm. With your 12 kilowatts versus, versus my 250 watts average. Mm -hmm. I don't think you stand a chance. I don't one. think I got any chance in hell. Three, two, one. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I think Chris narrowly had that one. Time to head to the hills, I think. So behind us, we've got a thousand foot hill. Uh, simple, really, first to the top. Right, you yeah. ready? Yeah, I'm cool. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. What an idiot. Okay, Chris, you ready? I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> but premature there? Okay, Chris? I'm ready. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. What are you doing, Steve? Uh, I'm just taking some nice pictures of the beautiful Adriatic, because um, the quality of the camera in here is absolutely amazing. Uh, meanwhile, Chris Smith is tearing down the coastline. <laughs> but 
but I could simply move across to my navigation mode on the G6 here. And uh, okay, I'm looking at the headland. So hit on the button. Boom. There comes the quickest route to the headland. And uh, while Chris is fumbling around in the woods trying to find the quickest way, I can simply hit go. I reckon I got a good chance of beating him. trick as well no way right let me get this thing over oh my god no way <laughs> not a chance of lift yo what's going on no i can't lift this give us a hand get this over what's going on here then 50 kilos is not too... Uh, Why didn't you just go through the gate? It's locked and electrified. Ah, right. Okay, so you're going to get your bike between the gate and the electric cable. Yeah, uh, hand, right? Excuse me a minute, Chris. I think I just need to uh, press on a touch. Just, what are you doing? Uh, get out of the way, please. I'm trying to get my bike yeah, through I'll the gap. Yeah, I'll pass this over in a minute then, yeah? the gap. Yeah, no worries, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, crikey. Oh, 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 look at that. My bike. It's through the gap. But remember, Chris, when you're going through gates, yeah. just stand on the inside so that all the pressure isn't on the outside of the gate. Okay, right, you're ready. Oh, get yours it. out of the way, then I'll Let pass me just move my bike over here a second and, uh, and, uh, oh, looks like you better call the camera crew. <laughs> oh, Steve, <laughs> come on. Oh. <laughs> Guys, um, can I get a bit of assistance? This is a four man job, I think, for this one. Right, you ready, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Lower, 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 lower. It's good. Ah, nice one, guys. Thank you. Cool. Ah. I've got, got to catch Steve. Let's go. Right, Chris, bit of uh, e-mountain bike shenanigans, stuff yep. we normally do. We do some steps, so I reckon uh -huh. we should give those a go. Oh God, I'm, actually, I'm generally nervous about this. Oh, Ooh, crikey, that's hard. <laughs> uh, Oh, you're too Come on, Tony. Come on, Stevie, bro. Oh, sh oh. That's hard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Smell the rubber. Oh, my God. So, Chris. Conclusion of that? I mean, I mean, apart from the fact that you nearly took half of Croatian uh, concrete works out of, the, out of the equation. Pretty evenly matched, I think. I think so, yeah. It's time yeah. to move on. On the smooth terrain, I was able to pull out a huge margin on Jones, but it wasn't just the gates that were slowing me down. As the gradient got steeper and looser, I began to struggle with the fierce power as the rear tyre kept spinning out. This coupled with the heavy weight and single speed gearing meant I was beginning to struggle both physically and mentally with what was turning out to be an extreme mountain ascent. It was no place for the G12. Jones just kept cutting loose, nailing the switchbacks, rock climbing the oppressive cliffs with ease. Traction never a problem and weight not an issue. As the gradient got even steeper, so did the margin between us. Oh, what? Another gate and a step. Right, I'm totally over this so far. <laughs> Steve Jones, you got some answering to do. 
Oh, hey guys, have you seen a, a Welsh guy in a blue army outfit? Oh, can you give us a hand here, please? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go! Where has he gone? I'm so over this. Oh. I'm heading back down, I think. So there you go, steep technical loose limestone terrain on a 250 watt electric bike versus the 7 kilowatt bike. This bike makes it, the powerful bike doesn't. Wonder where he is. Ha, oh, Chris, what a day. Uh, not even had time to tell you all the features of this Grape G6. It's got an accelerometer, a barometer. Uh, it's got USB, it's got Bluetooth, it's got internet connection for four years for Whoa. free in 124 countries. Crazy. Uh, it'll track every single ride you've got, you go on. It's got a camera front and rear. Honestly, this bike has everything. It can even tell you where your heart rate is and the system what's coming from the bike. But that's restricted to 25 kilometers an hour, right? Well, yeah, but wow. as you've seen on the trailers today, we haven't really been going much more than 25 kilometers. Oh, I don't know about now. you. But I didn't tell you all about the great G12S. You didn't? This is not restricted to 25 kilometers an hour. <laughs> yeah. This 70 kilometers an hour, top speed. I have to say that is pretty fast. 120 kilometers range. Wow, wow. 49 kilogram weight. Yeah. Charges in 80 minutes. 80 minutes. Yeah, so it's pretty fast charge. One of the interesting numbers on that bike, which you didn't mention, is the 12 kilowatt uh, peak power. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Compared to this, which is, I don't know, maybe 600 watts. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyhow, didn't come much use for you today, did it, Chris? Uh, I'm off to charge my little G6, I'll see you in the bar. You crack on. Yeah. Hey listen, I'm thinking about getting a salad and a beer or two before heading back, what do you reckon? Feeling more like an ice cream myself. Okay, all right, well if you find that. Hey listen, I'm just gonna put the G6 battery on charge. If you yeah. watch this. Oh next, yeah, I could do with topping this one up. Literally, two seconds to take that little puppy oh, out of there. Super quick. Literally, I'll see you in the bar in a minute. Ah. Uh, I need to uh, put this one on charge as well. Did you bring an extension lead? Ah, easy. Ah, um, yes. uh, the bike in the, in the bar? That bike? Yeah. Are you serious? What's no okay? way. Huh? No way. Oh, Chris, that's a slight problem. Uh, listen, I'll get the beers in, but yeah. I think you'll find that is another point for the mountain bike. <sighs> How about a quick coffee before we get started, Chris? Yeah, head off, Steve, yeah. let's get it. I'm gonna get them in, yeah? But hey, what a beautiful day, eh? It's amazing, I'm just yeah. taking some uh, nice selfies down by the seafront. Yeah, God, what good day spot. yesterday. Bloody yeah. good day yesterday, I tell you. I so, feel very happy with myself, I've got to say. I think you should be winning all these uh, challenges. Yeah. Feeling a little bit behind, so mm. I'm thinking a uh, A to B style oh, yeah. race this morning, sprint race. All oh, right, yeah. Along the seafront. Yeah. With a Le Mans style start, how does that sound? Yeah, I'm totally up for that, no worries. You fancy you your chances? You seem to be very uh, get it done. confident. Let's get a show on the road. Let's do it. We got in mind. Destination point, that headland over there. Love it, so we'll love race it. Race around the coast, yeah. get up it. Head out into the Adriatic. Right, how does this Le Mans style start work then exactly? Well, it's pretty simple, Steve. Yeah. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, what? Right. Oh, crikey. What? Hold on. Hold on a minute. Yo! Whoa, 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 where's my bike gone? It was there, I think. It was, anyway. right, it was right next to you. See you later. It was right next to you. Heck, you can't just do that. Dude, you can't just do that. What? Oh, what? Oh, nightmare. It's actually not a nightmare. 
What that idiot does not realize is that I can simply, so what he doesn't realize, I can simply go to my phone, acquire a photo, I can find out exactly where my bike is. It's, he just, he's basically just trying to stitch me up. <laughs> Look, there's the jetty, there's my bike, that's the front camera of the bike. I think you will find that my Great G6 is just down here. Actually, let me just check on the map as well. Let's go in here and just zoom in. And there she is, literally. God, he could have, he, now he could have been a bit more imaginative and hidden it a bit further. So I'm pretty much confident that it's gonna be down here. And there she is. You got that, I hope. Didn't quite go according to plan that for you, did it, Christopher? No, not quite what I was expecting, Steve, to no, be honest. after your Le Mans start, or that big hurried start. What I want to know is, how did you find that bike? I hit that pretty well. Aha! Schoolboy Aero, you did not know that the great G6 can in fact look after itself. I'm not going to reveal how, mm -hmm. because I might need to tap into that, uh, that detail a bit later on today. But um, yeah, I think A to B, that bike definitely I, I, took I feel way. sorry for you. So day two starts with the great G6 in the lead yet again. <sighs> Chris, no, no, no. Look, I can't handle water slides. I hate going round and round in circles. Well, we're not going round and round in circles in the water park, Steve. We're going round and round in circles in the car park, just like downtown Swansea. Oh, God. <laughs> the donut challenge. Are you ready? I'm not ready. You need to engage the... Watch uh, this. Watch this, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Nice one, Grandad. Um, I'm thinking you mean... A bit more, like this. <laughs> oh God, are you serious? It's a little bit more impressive than the walk mode down, oh, isn't it? God! <laughs> what the hell, I think uh, the verdict on that one. I think you need to pick some grit out of your teeth. <laughs> Challenge to me. Oh, hell of a spot, Chris, right? It's cool, isn't it? Ooh, I love that kickstand. I tell you what, I love the angle on the kickstand. It's smart, isn't it? You but can, forget about the angle on the kickstand. Yeah. Check this little angle out up here. Ah. An uphill switchback. I mean, loose, we do it on mountain bikes all the time. Mountain bikes all the time. gravel looks prime. Look at that. Very, yeah. very tricky conditions. So yeah. I think our next head to head uh -huh. is going to be an uphill switchback challenge. So this is, look at it, look at it. It's so loose. Super loose, isn't it? This looks like a section out of six days trials. It does. Proper trial section. So end card up there. End cards up there. So we've got a mix here mm -hmm. trials and switchback up and then down. Oh, nice. Right, observer, are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh 
12.78 seconds. That's not bad, you know. That wasn't my fastest time, I don't think. Struggled a little bit there. Okay, right. Okay, turn it, swing around, and it's going to be downhill switchback. The descent. Yeah. Okay, so I just want to point out, this is, uh, this is not a three-point turn test, right? This is a switchback test. I think I got this one. Right, three, two, one, go. Oh, nice. Oh, fair dues. Eat that, Jones. Fair dues. That was that was sharp. That was pretty sharp. I'm struggling to beat that. 6.24 seconds. Watch this. That's gonna be hard to beat. That is. Right, Steve Jones, are you ready for the trials uphill challenge? Yep. Right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it's trials as well. Just put your feet down. Count then. No. Huh? Obviously not. Oh. 10.67 seconds. Nice one. Smashed it. I didn't think I'd do that. Right, we're going to flip things in reverse. What's your flip off the cliff? Nearly me down the bank. Right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Four seconds, 47. Way faster. I think it was pretty conclusive, wouldn't you say, guys? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Well, talk about trails to die for, that was more like trails to die on. For sure, I've done some sketchy stuff in my time, but I didn't fancy a trip down that valley. Yeah, you know why they call them gravestones, all this limestone, why, you know why it's used on graves, isn't it? Why is it? Well, you'll find out in a minute. <laughs> downhill time stage. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. We got it, you've got a downhill, you've got a 200 mil downhill bike. That's what this bike is all about, for sure. Yeah. 200 mil trail. So look, look guys, this might look absolutely horrendous, but I'm, I can assure you we are riding down marbles on marbles on marbles <laughs> in amongst sheep. <laughs> Try, eh? Wow, what a spot. Ah. Well, e-moto certainly collided with e-mountain bike here on the cliffs above Croatia. Uh, I think the results were pretty cr uh, conclusive, Chris. Yeah, it's pretty close, isn't it? Yeah, how's your bike that is ridden primarily by people who roll around on the floor for a living? Well, you might be taking the mix, Steve, <laughs> but this bike is absolutely loaded with tech. It's even got batteries from the car manufacturer's Rimac on it. Yeah, fair enough, but it didn't really do you much good up in those hills, did it? Mm, I think you were slightly lagging behind on those faster sections. <laughs> yeah, granted. Uh, but Chris, joking aside, right? Uh -huh. Final analysis, I think when you're in the mountains, you need not a mountain bike, you actually need an e-mountain bike. Mm -hmm. I think for sure that bike won the challenges today. Yeah. E-mountain bike for mountain biking. So there you go. Let's know your thoughts on uh, e-mountain bike versus e-moto. In the meantime, if you want to see if you want to see what happens when a pedelec, a 25 km an hour pedelec, meets a 45 km an hour S pedelec, check out the video which we did in Garda just down here. We really want to know what you guys think about this video. Um, and also don't forget to hit on the globe to subscribe to EMBM. Thanks, Chris. Cheers, Steve. Been Un good. Unlucky. <laughs>